again. Okay, I've got a second video to do for sure, and then I'll look at my phone, see if there's another one. Ugh. And this one is on, and this one I did come up with with a session with somebody. You will know who he is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> anyway, what I was talking about, and I've talked about this before, that as 3D has moved up into 4D and 4D moves up to 5D, that what people have identified as undivine masculine and undivine feminine and undivine period of everything will be incorporated into the divine masculine and feminine. Let's use masculine and feminine for now. Okay? So, I don't think people were getting that. As a matter of fact, I was getting a lot of blowback with that. Like, well, undivine is undivine, period. It cannot be divine. And that is the vibrational feeling that I got from people. People didn't say it, but they don't have to because I don't, re I don't listen to words as much as I read by vibration. Okay, so vibrationally, that is what I got back from people. Now, that has been for months now, but I've been kind of busy running around and doing this or that. A whole bunch of other things are going on. But what I finally came to realize is what I was saying was not being understood. So I came up with an analogy in this session the other day, and I love this analogy. And I was going to have my whiteboard up here and draw, but I don't know that I could do it justice. So I'm going to do this just this way on this video and maybe I'll do a, a longer video with a whiteboard and put it over on the website. Um, I'm also going to do a long, long, long video from start to finish of my near-death experience and I'm going to put that on the website. Um, I expect that that's going to take a long time to do that video. It's going to be a long video because I'm going to go through slowly every stage because I've had a lot of questions over the last year and a half about different aspects of that and I think I need to do another video about two to three times longer than the one that's on my channel and really uh, dig into the different things that happen to me so heads up on that you can check that out on the website okay so what I came up with is let me explain things that in the beginning when the creator of this, and the creator, I remind you for those people who haven't listened to other videos not to get the wrong impression, the creator of this game is just like you. You have created games just like that creator has. The creator that created this, and I'm going to say he even though there's no he and she at where he is, and I don't want to say it because that just isn't right. That doesn't feel right. So I'm going to say he could just as easily say she but he's not a god any more than you are a god he simply came up with an idea just like you've come up with ideas to create whole big old games just like this whole big game this game is way bigger than you know about and it's actually a small game you've created much bigger games than this and by this I do not mean the planet earth or everything that you see in the skies I mean far far more than that more than humans are aware of. It's way bigger than that. So when the creator came up with this idea, and he, he came up with this idea and he said, okay, I'm going to, and again, there's no such thing as time and space at this point, but because you are linear beings, I must talk in linear time-space vernacular. That's the only reason I'm using that, so understand that clearly. I'm doing what I have to do in order to explain something you can't understand from the standpoint of no time, no space. So we're going to tell a story. Like here's a creator and he says, okay, I'm going to take this space over here that nobody's using. And I've got an idea. I'm going to take all the energy that's in this space and I'm going to divide it in two. I'm going to just divide it in two, clean in two. What was created at that point was what you translate at this point, way down on earth, deep, deep, deep in the game, you would call it probably light and dark, okay? Vibrationally, you might identify it as good and bad. Now, in this point, you would say that what you identify as good is good, and what you identify as bad is bad. Now, I would tell you that from my perspective, they are both equal. They are both equal. They are simply vibrations 
that are in the all that is. And that because the game has been set up this way, and you live in a human body, and you live in a society, it makes it look like certain vibrations are good, or feel like certain vibrations are good, and other vibrations are bad. But the reality of the scenario is that once you come outside of this human body, and you look at the whole thing, you'll see that it was just the way you used the vibrations. Now, if you don't understand that, I'll probably do another video on that and put it on the website. So, okay, we divided in over this group of energy, and he divided it in half, and this is light, and this is dark, okay? Now you've got a, think of that area that he grabbed hold of and divided into two parts, that that is a simple puzzle piece. One puzzle piece is light, one puzzle piece is dark, okay? Now you've got the beginning of my analogy. Fast forward, very, very fast forward, a very long time, down to Earth. Now light and dark is not that simple. It's very complex. And as you know, it is very, very complex. There, Because it got complex, that is what created even more contrast. Because now there are people that say, I'm right. Another person says, no, I'm right. And now they battle it out over who's right. In the long run, who is right? Well, that can get to be in discussions that I'm not interested in getting into. Okay, so now we've gotten this light and dark thing down uh, fractal, fractal, fractal over a very long period of time into this complexity where there's a question over which is light and which is dark because they're so close and they're so complex. This is so complex that it's hard to differentiate between the light and the dark at this point. Okay. All right. Now, in order for the earth to go from being on the vibration where all was divine, what you consider divine masculine and feminine. Now we're going to change light and dark. We're going to go to the other flip side after light and dark. There was another flip or split. And what became what you know in your human form down on planet earth as masculine and feminine energies. Again, it was very much like that split. It was an arbitrary split between light and dark, and it was an arbitrary split between feminine and masculine energies. Okay, so that split was made way, way long time ago. Again, fast forward, lots of fractaling was done. We went down to 3D planet Earth. As the, as Gaia was dropping down to 3D, and the undivine masculine and feminine, this happened gradually over time. The, what you know of as the undivine feminine and masculine energies existed in 3D. Now, how did that happen? Well, and then I say there's nothing wrong with these energies. So let me explain what happened as the gradual drop from pure divine masculine and feminine. And by divine masculine and feminine, what I mean is all aspects of source are represented so to speak okay in the divine masculine and feminine so up here in the divine masculine and feminine they're standing right next to each other hand in hand as one and now take the divine masculine and feminine together as one take that energy put it on a linear playing field so to speak now cut that energy into jigsaw puzzles all right and we're talking Let's say a billion jigsaw puzzles now, okay? All right, now that's the divine. Divine masculine feminine up here in a linear plane. We're going to like put this in our head, linear plane, and they're all cut into jigsaw puzzle pieces. Now, as the, as Gaia dropped, what would happen is gradually these jigsaw puzzles from the masculine and feminine, there'd be jigsaw puzzles being pulled out of it. So, we up here, all the jigsaw puzzles exist. Now, we dropped a little bit, and we left some jigsaw puzzles up here, and lost a few of them, dropped in vibration, now the jigsaw puzzle is smaller. Now, we squinched all those jigsaw pieces together, and now we dropped a little bit more. We're leaving jigsaw puzzles behind up here, drop the jigsaw puzzles, smush them together like this. And now there's another drop. We lose pieces, smush them together, drop, lose pieces, smush them together, drop. 
all the way down to 3D. Now, let's say my analogy was Divine Masculine Feminine Jigsaw Puzzle, all laid out here flat in a row, were a billion puzzle pieces. By the time it Masculine Feminine got down to 3D Earth, now we're down to 100,000 puzzle pieces. Every single one of those 100,000 puzzle pieces are divine in nature. But they are now out of place because as we dropped, they were squunched together and however they could be to create this new reality, this new vibration. So as we raise and the divine comes back in, it brings in those puzzle pieces, okay? It's up to you and the states and the country and the planet, well, the planet does it automatically, whether or not to allow those squished together ones that are now 100,000, you got to loosen up the belt a little bit and say, hey, those are divine. They're, they've created an undivine reality, but the aspects of the divine and the masculine are divine in nature. So you have to allow those puzzle pieces to kind of spread out a little bit as you move up and new divine energies and puzzle pieces will be added in between those. So as we go back up, 3D was about 100,000. We're now at about a million, okay, puzzle pieces. Very quickly, it'll be 100 million. Very quickly after that, it'll be 500 and a billion. Now we're moving up really quickly back to the starting point. You can see what I'm saying. Now, the more that you understand that ultimately at the beginning of this game, there was no masculine or feminine at all. There was simply all that is. And then these were pulled out of place. Even the original d d masculine and feminine were puzzle pieces. There were two puzzle pieces pulled out of the all that is and squinched together. And then they were divided down a billion times down to the 100,000 that you see in 3D. Now, on your way back up, you have to loosen those puzzle pieces, and they have to go back up in their, where they're supposed to be in the divine. And that will change every time you go up, and more space will be opened, more puzzle pieces will be added, space will be opened, more puzzle pieces will be added, and that, my friends, is how you get back to oneness, back to source, back to all that is. Now, that's how it happens with the divine masculine and feminine. Now, good for you. The majority of what's inside of you is built on masculine and feminine. So, if you just follow what is being going on, if you just allow these puzzle pieces to spread apart, not judge yourself, masculine or feminine, or both, which is what the truth is, about how... Anything that happened in the past, because that's not relevant. That was back when you had to squinch all the puzzle pieces together. That was, that was the, that's what you were meant to do. That's what you decided to do. But you all do, also decided, star seeds, that at this point, that you were totally capable of understanding that these puzzle pieces were squished together. And although this isn't a divine life, this isn't all that is, these are all still divine <coughs> aspects. So these can break apart, open up, and get some more puzzle pieces to head towards the divine. Open up, raise up, add more puzzle pieces, and in that you will raise your vibration. That is why I have told you to stop assuming about anything, to get rid of the fear, to lose the judgment, and to not be attached to anything. Because if you are attached and judging, you can't open those puzzle pieces, give them the, the, what they deserve, which is the divinity that they deserve, and allow the other puzzle pieces to fit in between them to go up towards oneness. All right? Okay, well, hopefully, y'all will understand what I just said. If not, I will probably do a longer version and put that on the website. All right? That's it for this one. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs. See you later now. Bye.